Oh my goodness. I just accidentally took a picture of myself and it was the dumbest face I've ever made in my life. And I make a lot of dumb faces. Hey guys, how you doing? I am Angie Tallarico and I am your Cincy director for my newest Cincy team. I have not actually officially turned in a Cincy team name because I just hit director two days ago. So I'm waiting for my director title to officially come through on my workstation. And yeah, so I am your Cincy director. And I have a few videos that I'm going to be making today on training. So today's video is going to be about Facebook parties. So whenever I first joined Cincy, I did a lot of Facebook parties by using the Facebook events. And I really just was not having any engagement at all from all the members of the Facebook party. Sometimes not even in the host because, you know, with Facebook events, Sometimes you don't even know whenever you get invited to them. Like, honestly, I don't. I don't know that I've gotten invited to a Facebook event sometimes until the day of the event, whenever it sends me a notification telling me that I have an event that day that I have no idea about. So, um, I got these friendly tips from one of my upline, and she gave me the idea about using a Facebook group for my Facebook parties with my host instead of a Facebook event. So in a Facebook group, if you have less than 500 people in a group that I want to I want to say, um, you will be able to see how many people has viewed your post and you will also be able to see who has viewed it. That is a huge, huge trick whenever you are trying to gain an engaged Cincy online party. You want to make sure that you have a lot of engagement from everybody because online parties are awesome and they're neat because you know you don't even have to show up anywhere and you can just order online and it's super super easy. But what's really hard is whenever people don't realize that there's a Facebook, there's an online party going on because I mean we're, we're so busy in our daily life sometimes we don't always get the chance to get on Facebook and know. So the great thing about a Facebook event is you can really see who is viewing all your posts. So that's how you know who to reach out to towards the end of the party to see if they want to place an order. So I have some notes right here. And so we're just going to go through all those notes. And um, one thing for my Facebook parties, I'll make each and every host a their own banner. So I make all of my images from Canva, which is a free website um, that you can use on your desktop or your laptop. And do you hear their little puppy feet? <laughs> but... Um, I make all my images on Canva. It's very user friendly. The free version of Canva offers so many great things. <laughs> I forgot what word I was going to say. But I'm just saying you do not have to purchase um, anything to create really beautiful, unique images for your Cincy business. Canva, the free version, I do everything that I do with Canva for free. And it's just awesome. I just download it right from the site and I upload it. So... I have this one Cincy banner that I use. It's a Facebook banner whenever you're creating an image on Canva and it says you're invited with a slash mark that says from Cincy by Ange and it says let's party Cincy style. It has our hostess, that's where I changed the name and I put Facebook party. So each and every hostess is gonna get their own unique banner, which takes like less than five minutes to create. Like you gotta invest your time in your business if you really wanna get something out of it. So each and every host gets a personalized banner for their Facebook group. And then with a Facebook group, I mean, for a Cincy party, everybody's going to know that, you know, you're going to be posting. They're going to have to expect that, you know, because you, they have somebody in their friends or family that is hosting a party. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to post. But whenever you keep posting and posting and posting, you want to make sure that you're in, as informative as possible. Because some people might not even know what Cincy is. So if there's some people that are really wanting to um, place an order, like with their sister or their daughter or something like that, and they are going to, you know, really be engaged in the Facebook group. But then you just go out and you start talking about Cincy bars. Well, what's a Cincy bar? You know, like not everybody knows what Cincy is. I didn't even know what Cincy was until December. Um, so really, you need to think strategically whenever you're posting and you're posting and you're posting for your Facebook online parties. So I always start off the first post is uh, tag the, um, the host and I say, hey, this is your Facebook group. This is for your Facebook party. I have made you an admin, so now you can go in and you can add all of your members. 
Then the next post, I put a picture of myself with Brandon and I introduced myself. I say why I joined Cincy, when I joined Cincy, what I have been doing with Cincy, and um, I talk about my team, how many people that I have working with me, um, some things that, you know, I love about Cincy and the reason why I joined and um, some of my favorite topics. You know, I just kind of introduced myself. And then that next post is where I kind of start off with telling them that Cincy is basically the wickless candle company. That's how many people know it. So I start off with the how we have the wickless, the sootless, and the um, completely just safe, you know, Cincy warmers. And those Cincy warmers take Cincy bars. So once I kind of introduce what a Cincy warmer is, that's whenever I post a lot of photos. Like, hey, this is some of our Cincy warmers that we have. Every single warmer has a limited lifetime warranty. And you can visit my website to see every single warmer that we have available. So then after I do the Cincy warmers, I start talking about a Cincy bar. What's so special about a Cincy bar? It comes with eight cubes. You can buy five, you get one free. It's 100% pair, it's pair from wax. Um, each fragrance is made up of 60 to 90 fragrance notes. You really need, even if somebody, even if all the people in the Facebook group know exactly what Cincy is and they've been buying it for years, you need to be informative because this is a Facebook party and you got to think strategically. You can't just throw products in somebody's face because they're going to see that as a sales pitch and they're not going to want to buy from you. You want to show people what Cincy is, how it can benefit them, and why it is the smarter decision to shop with Cincy for home fragrance versus what they're doing now. Um, next. And always, like, with just being so informative and really showing them everything that Cincy has, you want to make sure to connect with these people. You don't want to come off as a salesperson because we're not salespeople. None of us are. We're Cincy consultants, and we have to connect with our customer base. So, in my Facebook parties, not every single post is about, this is this warmer for $30, or this is this Cincy bar for $6. If I get one free. It's not all about that. I make sure to throw in posts like, how many of you have tried Cincy? Or I try to throw in posts like, um, this is how I use Cincy in my daily life. Like, take a picture of the car bar you ha have hanging up or take a picture with you and the Cincy bar that you have warming at the moment or take a picture of your Cincy when we're sitting over there or your diffuser. You want to make sure you connect with these people. You want to show them how you're using Cincy in their daily lives because once they see how you're using it, they get that image in their head how they can use it in their daily lives. So that's how you want to make that connection and you want to be a person who is human and not a salesperson because not all salespeople are human, I promise. This next step is very, very important, but you need, you need, you need to take advantage of what Facebook offers us today and that is Facebook Live. One of the biggest ways to connect online with customers or anybody that on social media or anywhere is through video because that's where they can see you, they can hear your voice, they can see your personality, and that's where they can connect with you because if you're just posting pictures of yourself and posting words, they can't really get to know you, you know? Like even if it's a, it's not a live video, but it's just a video like I'm posting now, um, if it's just a previously filmed video, they get to see you with your voice and how you talk and how you act and who you are. And that's what's going to make the connection with these people like the last thing that I talked about. And with Facebook Live, what's awesome about that is that it's so new and like people love, I love watching people live because it's just, you get to see them face to face basically um, right then and there and you get to see what they're doing. And Facebook Live gives people the ability to comment on your feed and they can comment and then you can respond. They can ask questions and you can answer them. They, they can tell you things and while you're live, you can see those comments and you can, you, you can respond and have a conversation. And that's why people love live. So whenever I open up a Facebook party, I usually keep it up, open for about a week and at the end of the week, I uh, will go live for about 30 to 45 minutes and I do exactly what I would do at a Cincy home party, but I do it online. Don't think that it's going to be difficult going live. Just literally be yourself and do everything that you would do at a home party. So I start off, I introduce myself and I walk them around my house. I show them my warmers. I show them a Cincy bar. I show them a room spray and I go through my diffuser and I just sit there and I talk to them just like I would at a Cincy home party. I tell them some of my favorite products and some of my favorite scents and that's just don't think too much. That's the thing. Like, get out of that mindset where it's too scary. You can't go live. You're going to mess up because I am one of those people. I mess up my speech 
all the time. And I was terrified to go live until the first... <laughs> See, I just messed up. <laughs> I was terrified to go live whenever I had joined Cincy. But I kept telling myself, and I kept telling myself, whenever I got that shooting star kit in, I was going to go live. I was going to go live in my Cincy group for my VIPs, and I was going to get over it, and I was just going to push through. And I did. And the whole time, I was nervous. I was red. I was sweating. I wasn't myself because I was really just kind of calm and conservative. But once I went live and I posted that, I felt so empowered because people watched me. You can see who's watching you. My friends were commenting, other people were commenting. And it's like, it just gives you that motivation. Like video is not scary. Put yourself in front of that camera and step out of your comfort zone and people are gonna see that and they're really, really couldn't connect with you. The next thing on my list is making conversations. So, but the great thing about having a Facebook party um, on a, as a group on Facebook, like I said, you can add members and if you have less than 500 members You can see who how many people view that post and who views it. So whenever I talk to my hostesses I want to tell them You, you know add about 30 to 60 people That's what I personally recommend because you got to think that one at one out of every Three people are going to really engage in that Facebook party so as long as you have under 500 people in that group, which you do not want 500 people because, I mean, it, that's a lot of people and you don't want to completely just over invite and over invite. You want to keep it in a good range of your closest friends and your closest family and like your work friends or anything like that. But I always tell my hostesses to keep it 30 to 60 people, roughly. And so whenever I say make conversations, I want you to keep an eye on how many views you get on each post and who keeps viewing that post. And by the end of the week, after you go live, message those people who have really viewed all of your posts within that week and tell them, hey, I'm Angie Tellerico and I really hope that you've been loving this Facebook party for a hostess, yada, yada, yada. Um, every local order is able to get free shipping and we will just deliver it to you once it comes in the mail. Do you hear her wanting? I'm so sorry. But message those people who have been viewing all of your posts and tell them like, hey, I'm the Cincy Consultant for this Facebook party that you've been in for the last week. Um, we really want to spoil our hostess. She's going to earn free and half price Cincy for hosting this party with me. If you haven't tried Cincy before, I would love to get you started with it. And all local orders will get free shipping and I can take orders at any time. Please take a look at my website and let me know if you have any questions. Make those conversations, people. Facebook Messenger, that's what it's for. But the great thing about Facebook Messenger, it's direct, but it's not too direct. It's a text message because people can open it and reply on their own time. So you might think, like, what if they say, what if they don't respond? What if they ignore me? You can't be afraid of that. You have got to make those conversations. You have got to go for that. No, you don't know until you try. Make that conversation. If they don't reply, if they open up your message and just hit you with that no takes back, okay, so what? Move on to the next person. You know, the next person might really, really, really be excited about the Cincy party, but they just been so busy that they haven't really had time to come out and reach out to you to talk about placing your order. So whenever you are reaching out to those people directly, that means that y'all are talking one-on-one -on -one and not just through a group where everybody can see them. So make those conversations. If you're doing a Facebook party, make sure that you are putting in the effort to really connect with each and every one who is really staying on top of all your posts and who is liking them, who is commenting, and even who is viewing them. Just because they haven't liked or commented on any post, if they keep viewing every post, they're watching you and you need to keep that in mind, okay? Last thing on my list is host coaching. So... Yes, the Cincy Consultant is a huge part in a Cincy Facebook party, but it's also a huge, huge, huge job with the host. People are thinking, if I place an order, then my host, she is the one, or he, is the one who's going to get half price items and free credit for Cincy. So, you want to make sure that your hostess is also reaching out to everybody individually and letting them know like, hey, I'm hosting a Cincy party and I know that you'd really love Cincy in your life and I really hope that you um, have the chance to stay on top of my Cincy Facebook party in my group and if you want to place an order, contact me or my Cincy consultant and we can get you set up. So whenever people who don't know me and you know, I'm reaching out to them like I would, 
if they don't know anything about me and they just see me post and post and post but they haven't heard anything about a Cincy Facebook party from their hostess or host like they might see me as a salesperson. That Cincy host has already talked to them to let them know that they are hosting a Cincy party and they know that they would love the products and they really hope they give it a chance. Then whenever I reach out to them, that's probably gonna give them that boost to be like, hey, yes, I wanna try Cincy or hey, yes, I love Cincy and I would love to purchase something for my host, yada, yada, yada. So you really have got to make sure that you coach your host don't just open up a party and try to do everything yourself because she or he also needs to be a big part of that Cincy party because they are the one that's going to be getting the host rewards at the very end of the um of the party so you want to make sure that they are putting their part into by saying that i don't mean they don't have to go live if they don't want to they don't have to keep posting and posting and posting like you do you are the Cincy consultant but they need, like if somebody comments on a post with me or something like that, they need, you know, they need to like it or they need to call, like talk back to them or, you know, respond to them or, you know, they need to be engaged more than anybody else in the Facebook group, the host does. And so after that week and after I go live, um, I keep that group open for another week after that. Just, I post maybe like once a day, but it's just follow up. So during that week is whenever I will reach out to people who I keep like have been viewing my posts. Like I will tell them like, hey, I'm placing my order. If you want to get in on this order, um, we can get you all set up and get your products ordered and you will get free shipping if you're local or you can order from my website and it will ship directly to you. So, so that is how I do my Facebook parties with doing that in the Facebook group, the way that I kind of like changed it as I've went. Um, it really has improved. It all, it all depends on you, your host, the timing, how you do it, the engaged people in the Facebook group for the party. And that's just a few of my tips. So I hope that helps you. If you have any other ideas or comments, please leave that down below so I know because if you have ideas, I might try them and they might work for me. So I really hope these work for you and if they do work for you or if you like some of my ideas, just please let me know. I would love to hear all of your comments. So as always, don't watch me, join me and have a great day.